The revised DP has uh, finally proposed that 33% of the no development zone land will be used for affordable housing. So let's go across to Anuj Puri, who is the chairman of Anurag, to find out whether that figure is actually going to happen or not. Anuj Puri, biggest skepticism is around the fact that you are talking about big land parcels coming into being or being freed up. But will the affordable housing stock be created or not? Uh, you summarized it beautifully, Manisha. Uh, the DP 2034 highlights uh, that you have listed, uh, to my mind, will bring in a uh, target uh, construction, perhaps not even of 5 lakhs, maybe 10 lakh affordable homes. And why I feel is that it is going to be confident, very confident that they will be able to deliver, because the way the policy is being drafted, uh, that without... Uh, affordable housing under the PMAY scheme, the rest of the land is not going to be freed up. So this is, uh, Manisha, the same way as slum rehab was done in Mumbai, where you had to build the slum rehab building first before you were able to use the free sale area. Likewise, it appears that the NDZ land of 3,700 hectares out of the 16,700 hectares that is going to be released, um, there is going to be a target to construct 10 lakh affordable homes and that they will be able to construct and hence they will be able to use the free sale uh, area. So this time I am confident that these are clean, clear parcels of land, uh, unlike in the slums where the scheme is very effective but because there are slum uh, habitants to relocate them becomes difficult. Here uh, I am looking forward to uh, the release of 3700 hectares. I think this will be largely in the salt pans and parts of Film City and RML Colony and perhaps mangroves. Uh, so we will need to see where this 3700 hectares lies. But I am positive that you will see uh, construction right. of affordable homes. Okay. Anush, my second question is, uh, how many private developers uh, will benefit out of this release of land? Because, you know, will the government be constructing these houses themselves or will they bring in private players? Can we get a little bit excited about the balance sheet impact on listed players of real estate companies uh, from absolutely. Mumbai? Absolutely. So the way that they have written is that the proposal to unlock 3,700 hectares of uh, public and private land, uh, which is currently targeted as NDZ, is to be developed with both the public and private uh, developers. So, uh, so there will be a number of uh, listed companies who are operating in Mumbai who would have an ability to be able to play in this uh, scheme. So suddenly I feel is there is going to be a massive real estate activity, uh, not only in the suburbs where majority of this... Uh, uh, NDZ land is, but equally in the uh, city suburbs, because you asked me the question for the listed uh, guys who are very prevalent in the city, uh, the FSI has been raised to three in the city, uh, which was at 1.33, whilst the suburbs they have retained it at 2.5. There's going to be a huge amount of development in the city, and that's where I think you're going to see a positive real estate activity uh, come up for the listed uh, players operating in right. Mumbai. Anuj Puri, thank you so much for speaking to us. So as uh, you heard from Anuj, a lot of excitement. Mumbai is getting a development plan which is going to be a blueprint for the next 20 years of this financial capital's development. And I think everybody in Mumbai needs to look at the fine print and be involved in this process of Mumbai's redevelopment. Okay.